सो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आर चैनल इंट्रो मैक वेर वी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसेप्ट सो गाइज वी हैव स्टार्टेड अवर न्यू सीरीज बेस्ड ऑन द कन्वेंस इलेक्शन एंड इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड लाइक वॉट आर द डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर द कन्वेंस इलेक्शन एंड इन द सेकेंड सेशन वी हैव सीन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कन्वेयर्स एंड while selecting those converters which parameters are required to be considered what input parameters are required and uh, how we can get the complete solution now one major important parameter is motor selection so whenever you have some conveyor you need to design or you need to select the motor so let's check out how uh, we can select the motor with the help of online tool so just type oriented motor sizing tool and you will get this just click on that you will end up over here now this is the home page you can see there are different types robot applications uh, you can see the different applications over here and we are interested in motor sizing so as you click on the motor sizing you can see different application ball screw index table belt actuator conveyors arms so we are interested in belt conveyors so just click on that it will get open as soon as you click on that now here you can see the belt conveyor sizing tool what is load uh, then linear guide belt drive pulley what is secondary pulley primary pulley and motor so these are some nomenclature they have given on the right hand side uh, the unit conversion chart is given let's select metric if you want to change something you can just type and get it the data now what input parameters are required load and linear guide total mass on the load now this is very important you should know uh, the size and weight of the parameter which we discussed in the first uh, session so let's consider we have 5 kg uh, mass of each part having let's say uh, let's say we have a total 100 kg of uh, mass and then friction coefficient depending on the material we have to give now let's consider we have a belt uh, uh, conveyor so it will uh, it will be kind of uh, rubber and steel let's consider so let's select a point uh, uh, 5 uh, 0.5 then we have drive pulley specification now there will be a pulley which will be driving the shaft now let's consider the pitch circle diameter of uh, this driving pulley as uh, let's say 1 150 mm so this is kind of a drive pulley and then drive pulley mass let's consider the drive pulley mass as 0.75 uh, then we have number of uh, drive pulleys this number includes the uh, driver pulleys and idler pulleys now we have seen what is what are the idler pulleys and these are required for tensioning also and proper mounting of uh, the conveyor so let's uh, consider four and then efficiency let's consider 80% now external force let's consider zero and transmission belt and pulley if we have gear reduction uh, 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 then we have to put it let now let's consider we have direct coupling uh, that means our motor is uh, directly connected so let's consider that so here you can see primary pulley then it is connected to one secondary pulley that is nothing but the reduction so let's consider uh, we are directly connecting our uh, motor so we don't have to put this data over here so primary pulley mass and then secondary pulley, pulley mass uh, that that all that is required so if we have that data we can put else mechanism placement now we have seen incline no if it is horizontal select zero other requirements if, if it is necessary to hold load even after the possible turn off then we need electromagnetic brake so let's select this option then operating conditions whether it's a fixed speed or variable speed or positioning operation if you select variable speed you have to give operating speed one and two and then the acceleration and if we have a fixed speed operation then we have to give the operating speed now this is depending on our cycle time calculation so now let's select uh, as 5 mm per second and acceleration time is 0.2 seconds then we have stopping accuracy this is very important uh, uh, if we don't have any precision then we can have let's say 0.5 mm and then the safety factor let's select the safety factor as 2 so we have uh, given all the inputs now let's hit calculate and here is the answer so we get the load inertia the required speed the required torque now required torque is the most important parameter because based on that we can select the motor the load inertia factor also plays an important uh, role when we select the motors and the gearbox 
uh, now you can see the load torque is 40.94 and we have selected factor of safety as 2 that's why the required torque is twice and we should consider the required torque only because that uh, you know consider the safety factor we should not focus on the load torque but we should focus on the required torque because that includes the safety right then uh, we have full uh, a report uh, uh, that gets generated we have to give this information and we can get the full report and then there are some tips uh, also on the bottom side if you could see uh, then it is kind of some tips which type of motor or uh, which type of model you can select depending on your input uh, output parameters which we have got from the software the load inertia you can see now the permission load inertia that is an important parameter when you select the motor you have to check that whether your requirement is matching or not now uh, let's let's see the required torque is 92.26 newton meter now let's see uh, if we change the parameters how it affects so let's let's uh, go back and let's select uh, let's change one of the parameters so what we can do is let's double the mass so instead of 100 kg now make it as 200 kg and just hit uh, the calculate again now values will change and you can see the required torque now has increased to 184.5 newton so this is how you can utilize this tool you should know uh, the input parameters and if you know the input parameters you can get the required torque for your system and from that you can select your motor so this is it guys for our uh, today's session and we have already our sessions based on the motor selection and the gearbox selection so after this if you get the required torque you can also watch those videos i will drop the link so that you can understand how to select the motor and gearbox from the required torque right so if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then keep intro making thank you for your patient listening thank you